back to Amy and Sean. On 1027 VGS. So yesterday we talked about um, things and signs or things that you have in your life that you see and people be like, wow, they have that, they have their life together. Mm. And it started off with like white bedding and white sheets. So we were talking about that uh, yesterday or last night at dinner. And my mother-in-law said, oh, it's the emails for me. If people have zero unread emails on their things, you got like your work one, Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, all of them on your phone. So, so weird. And if you have zero unread messages or under like a thousand, <laughs> you've got your life together. Yes. And she she described her emails um, being like her brain, and I've never felt more heard. Oh, <laughs> like, wow. So she said, my emails are like my brain. Some are open, but unread. <laughs> I'm like... That's good. So she's like, this is, these are the things that go on in my mind, but it's like my email. Some belong in spam, but I just can't do it. Well, like, oh my God, that's true. So it's like, you want to put it to spam. You get the Bath and Body Works ones. You want to put them in spam. You're like, but maybe. I still get the app. They still there hit There might you. be another coop and I might need it. So, but same in your mind. You know, these things should not be in your mind. You need to put them in spam, but you just can't do it. Yeah. You just can't do it. She said, uh, some are unread. I know what they are, but I'm scared to open them. I'm like, yes. Yes. Why is your email mm -hmm. just like your brain? Yeah. It's the craziest thing. And I had just never, I was like, wow. I was just amazed by everything she was saying. <laughs> she's got it all. She has she's got just by that. Out. She's got it all figured out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just to be able to break that down. Just but be able to, to admit it, right? If it goes below the fold, once it goes into page two, it may as well not be in my email. Yeah, agreed. I, I, I completely agree. And, and with work ones, I feel like sometimes like I will open them and read them um, but, and they'll save them because I'm like, I'm going to need it at some point and I 99.9 never go back and read it. Or I lose <laughs> it because it's so far down that it's just, I, I don't know why, I just don't clean it all out. I do try to have, like right now, I've got, I've got three different emails and I've got uh, 37 oh, unread. So it's not too That's bad. That's really, across all three? All three total, wow. total. But I mean, then I open Gmail and it's Tilly's, Bed Bath & Beyond, RIP, Vans, uh, Vans, GM, tell him, uh, Van, yeah. I, mu I must have bought to, van, do, do, do a pair of vans. <laughs> I must have bought a pair of vans for Jaden six years ago. Yeah, and I just keep being subscribed to vans for no reason. Um, I've got for uh, American Eagle and then um, some Clark County School District stuff. Uh, Yahoo's worse. Spirit Halloween. Smith Savings. Pack Sun. <laughs> Pack Sun. <laughs> Are they still in business? I don't know. I, I thought feel they were like, supposed to go out of business. I feel like they do have one still in, in uh, Meadows Mall, but I'm not positive. Uh, and then Albertsons and Michaels, custom framing. So like they're mo all of my unread are, are mostly like being subscribed for stores. Yeah. Or two stores. And I just can't bring myself to unsubscribe to different stores, especially around the holidays. What if I need 20% off True. my entire order? Can't read that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see here. Uh, we got a class dojo, a lot of class dojos. Yeah. A lot of uh, save the date, take two correction, take three, sorry. <laughs> a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jet Blue is like, hey, you know, we have yeah. another trip. You can take an awesome vacation. I'm like, yeah, sure. Maybe in six months when I'm able. Yep. Um, the other one they get you all the time, right? If you go on, wherever you buy your tickets, whether you're going to a, a show or a game or something like that, if it's StubHub or, um, or Ticketmaster, if you look at a ticket and then you get off it because you're like, this is extremely expensive, uh, they will make sure to send you, hey, your event's still available. Hey, just saying it's going to sell out soon. Hey, you should really, hey, they're cheaper than they were. So it's like they they know how and when to send you these emails that you're like, oh, let me check one more time. The worst. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, there's an ad. Sometimes they throw ads in there. Uh, Border Patrol positions open. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Things go uh, self. I will too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny though, the way, and I, I hope everybody agrees. I really do. Cause if you really think about it, your emails are your, your, just like your mind, just what's going on in your mind. I mean, I woke up 97 times last night thinking of random things, just like my email. I get random things always. What, what, who's like the biggest violator as far as like all the businesses that you see out there sending you mess. You know, who's been like really uh, uh, up my case lately is TGI Fridays. Mm. TGI Fridays hit me up all the time like, hey, you know, apps. I'm like, great. Appetizers. Awesome. When I'm interested, I'll make sure to come in. Yeah. Get myself some spinach and artichoke dip. Bomb. But like right now. I'm going to make that Sunday. 
Grimaldi's, like Grimaldi's occasionally hit you with like a special. Great. It's all the ones in between. Mm -hmm. Just like, uh, hey, want a cannoli? Come on in and have yes, one. Yes, yes, no. yes. No. BJ's does that. BJ's does that. Um, uh, it's Spirit Halloween, of course, because it is spooky season. So they're they're uh, they know their time has come. So they're ready to to attack. But I think it, the the most annoying has got to be the restaurants because they want you to come in all the time. Yeah. At least when I get one from Bath and Body Works, it does tell me the sales that are that are going on. But give me a reason. Give me a reason. Give me two bucks off. Give me yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Free free dessert. Free right. drink. Something. Something. I uh, I was uh, actually at Fridays yesterday. It worked. Uh, and I, uh, they double charged me for my Dr. Pepper because uh -huh. I got a refill, but the refills are supposed to be free. So I had to call her on it cause it was like $4 for a drink. Yeah. And I felt like such a cheap jerk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel cheap when you say, are the uh, refills free? I would never say that. No, no. But like I saw it and I'm like, but ultimately it's going to come up to your tip. Like I'm just going to take it off your tip if it doesn't yeah, come yeah, up. Yeah. So let me take this uh -huh. off. But I felt miserly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not sure. I spell like an arrow. Like, I just got a refill. That wasn't a new Dr. Pepper. <laughs>